So this week, the Jets did a good job. They knew that the Miami Dolphins play a lot of man. So we're going to see here they had two man beaters. On this first play, I love this play because you get the back out of the backfield and you make sure you got your smart veteran receiver to make a play. But also, what I love about it is they motion their tight end. And one big thing about motion their tight end, you get to see if it's man or zone. We got a guy right here trailing them, so we know right off the bat it's a man play. But it's a great man play because it confuses the Dolphins. They try to do too much. And we talk with the Jets, we always talk about communicating. So now that this guy motioned over here, he's got to make sure he communicates with that guy over there. But unfortunately, they don't do that for themselves. So here you'll see Uzama goes across the field. This guy usually follows him. But on this play, he chooses not well, to. Let me ask you something real quick. Let's do it. The formation with the running backs, does that make a linebacker's eyes automatically look in the backfield. Definitely, especially with the play action down here. You see this play action, that's a big one. The linebackers get sucked up. They're looking in the backfield, so that's another reason why you're gonna see this guy right here is supposed to have Brees, but his eyes are in the backfield. Oh, wrong guy. Excuse me. This guy right here should have Brees, but he chooses to look in the backfield and loses him. So we're gonna see Brees coming up the sideline here. It's a great play, and look at him. He doesn't know where he's looking. His eyes are this way, and Brees is right here. Up the sideline, our quarterback finds him. Big play down the sideline. You get to see his ball carrier vision, make some plays, make some guys miss. It's a great play by the Jets. So let's get back to the start of the play. You talking about the veteran receiver. Yes. Clearing it out. Let's, yes. let's look at Corey Davis. Let's do it. So this is another great play. You gotta have a smart guy down here to know exactly what he's supposed to do. A lot of times you see a guy running and he's running like a chicken with his head cut off. But Corey knows exactly what he needs to do. He sees this guy coming across right here. He knows, okay, I gotta make sure I at least affect this guy. That's the biggest thing on this play is affect this guy. So there's a good job getting in his way. And we're gonna see actually on this next play that it's a similar play, it's another big play. All right, so when something happens, in a positive manner, a lot of guys are doing the right thing. Exactly. Now, here, Elijah Moore is not going to get any credit on the stat sheet, no. but you're talking about another clear out in Brees Hall. Again, getting room. Exactly. And I love this play as well because Elijah Moore up here knows that he's got a press man. And a lot of times, like I said before, you need a guy that knows what he's doing. So usually you'll see a guy, like the last play, just kind of run in and make this play. But Elijah Moore knows, okay, maybe I can do a little bit extra. And we got some savvy receivers on this team. So you're going to see right here, as opposed to just running inside, he adds a little bit of extra sauce on this, right? So you're going to see him go outside, then inside. Great job. And then he gets those two guys to run into each other. And again, it's another great call by Mike LaFleur. It's a defense that runs a lot of man. He's giving his quarterback an opportunity to just make an easy, quick read and get a first down.